Hey everybody, it's me, and this will just be like a quick video of um uh <laughs> what I use to moisturize with. I have three different ones that I moisturize with. Um uh, this is just me sharing. This is not really like a review, but this is just like a showing of what three different moisturizing products I use. And these moisturizing products that I use are mainly for like a moisturize and sealing at night. And the one I'm about to show you has a double purpose. I use it as, uh, it can be used as a leave-in conditioner and also as a moisturizer. It is water-based that I'm aware of. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. And it is the Herbal Essence Long-Term Relationship. It's in. It comes in this red bottle, and it's a pump. And I don't know what the scent is. Red raspberry. Love it. It smells so good. Um. Yeah, it's a water-based um conditioner. I mean, moisturizing slash leave-in conditioner. And it's a leave-in conditioner. It says leave-in split-in protector for long hair. It's a leave-in conditioner. You can use this after you wash your hair or co-wash it on wet hair. It can be used on wet hair. And it can be used on dry hair. So I use it on wet hair after I wash or co-wash my hair. And I also use it to moisturize and seal my hair with on wet hair. Because on the bottle it says you can use it on wet or dry hair. So that's how I use it. I really... But what, what do I like using it more on? I... I don't have a preference on what I like using it more on wet or dry hair. I like it on both hair. At least my hair very moisturized and very soft. Um, it has it makes my hair feel a little kind of light. It doesn't weigh it down as much as maybe another moisturizer that I have in my regimen. But as far as when I use this, I just pick up either one of these products that I'm going to show you. Um, I mainly use these after I w do a wash with a shampoo or a co-wash when I'm not deep conditioning. But it all depends on what my preference is that day. But I really, 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 really like this product. It's a long-term relationship. And I bought this um, long-term relation relationship leave-in. Yeah, I got this at Target. For some people, they say they can't find it anywhere, but the only place that I've personally saw it at, uh, or saw it and buy it at is Target, and this is like two ninety something, T either two ninety nine or two forty nine. I don't know, but I like this. I like this a lot. I love. It. I used it tonight. Love it. And the other one, I'm sure you see me use. I can never get the name right because it's extra long. Um, so it is the olive oil moisturizing lotion. This one in the green bottle. I'm almost out. So this one I use. Um, this one is water based also that I'm aware of. I'm reading the ingredients right now to see if there's anything that makes me say, oh my goodness, I didn't know this was in here. I don't know, a few days ago, I could have sworn I seen, seen that this had petroleum. Oh, it does have petroleum in it. Now, as far as the products with petroleum or mineral oil in it, I, I typically like to stay away from them. But if I try it out and I like the product and I like the way it made my hair feel and I feel as if it's working for my hair, I will use it. This is one of the only products that I have that has petroleum in it that I use. And I use this to moisturize and seal my hair. A lot of people on their hair journeys and are, uh, who have their regular regimens of moisturize and sealing use this product. This is a good product even though it has the, you know, the forbidden ingredient in it. Um, but I use this to moisturize and seal with. But in comparison to this one... Here, this is this was more kind of lightweight, um, and this one's kind of more heavy. It has more of an oily texture to my hair after I'm done applying it. It's a it's more heavy than than say this one here. So I mainly use these after wash days. Um, 
and I use this a lot on my braid outs because it keeps my hair moisturized. Um, I, I like this. It's more heavy. It's great for winter time for me. It worked very well in the winter time for me. So that's, I use that. And this one, I put my dad on this. I actually stole this. I use this too, even though it's his. Um, I put him on using this moisturizer, um, which is the Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. I'm going to open it. It's probably been used, okay? So, it's kind of like a butter texture. You probably can't see it. It's almost gone. But it's very thick. It's butter. It's like a butter. And it smells great. Um, as well as this one smells okay. It doesn't really have a distinctive smell. And this one smells very, very good like raspberries. Make sure it smells so good. But this mango butter... The Elastic QP, which is the brand Elastic QP, this is what it looks like, mango butter. It's moisturizing. It's very thick. Um, um, it leaves my hair soft, I think. Um, it's thicker than this one on my hair. It, this is thicker than this one. I like using this in the wintertime. It's very, very, very moisturizing. Um, it's kind of heavy a little bit, uh, so if you don't like your hair, do I look dark? So it's kind of, um, it's heavier than all the, the previous two that I just shown, and, but I like using this in the winter time mostly, and it smells great, and this also, uh, works good, like, if, if I want to do, I feel like I'm looking dark. If you want, if I do buns or a nice slick ponytail, that works really good on slicking. So I really like this, and I I moisturize and seal my hair with this as well. Um, so those are the three products that I like using. I switch them up, and also this organic root stimulator one. It comes in the little packs too. So that's what I use. <laughs>